Am I the asshole? For telling my grandmother stop trying to make me to be her dead daughter? I-18 if was named after my aunt who died in a car accident at 15, almost 20 years ago. I was told when I was born, my grandma saw my hair red and begged my parents to name me after my aunt. They agreed. From a young age, I was aware she favored me. It also caused my other cousins to resent me. I didn't like her favoritism towards me and just wanted to be treated normal. She would often say, you have red hair like your aunt or your aunt used to like art I'm not into art and would encourage me to take it up. I refused and it would upset her. Your auntie liked her hair in this style. I complained to my parents and they said that I just bring her comfort. Whatever. My 18th was two weeks ago and me and my friends planned to have a weekend road trip. My grandma disapproved and said my aunt would have done a party at home and I finally lost it and said that's because, I'm not her, stop trying to make me be your dead daughter, I'm sick off it my grandma started crying and left the room. I immediately felt bad. I got yelled at by family for making my grandma cry and my dad was the only one who looked troubled and stuck up for me and told everyone to leave. My mother was upset with me and like everyone else, demanded I apologize to my grandma but I refused. My dad told me not to worry about it, and just go enjoy my road trip, it should be settled down, by the time I get back. Except it hasn't, everyone's still angry and my grandma hasn't spoken to me either. Not the asshole. You are not your grandmother's support animal or comfort blanket. You are you. Sounds like the family has gone the path of least resistance for years, and maybe sometimes that has been something you've been okay with, but you do not need to set yourself on fire to keep others warm. Your parents, and all that enabled your grandmother to postpone her healing in this way are the Oz. Forge a path. Your path. And in a roundabout way, whatever your grandmother's recollections are, you will probably honor your aunt more as I'm guessing like most people she would have done the same. Not the asshole. Could use a grandma, I'm sorry for blowing up at you the way I did, but this is a conversation that has been a long time coming. I don't feel like you love me. You love some other person that I remind you of. The only affection I can remember is about how much you love someone I have never met. It's like a 1000 yard stare instead of someone actually looking at you. I am my own person. Not the asshole. Do you like your name? You are 18. If you don't like it, it may be time to get a name change. She favors you. It has already damaged your relationships with cousins due to her favoritism. She really thinks you are a replacement daughter, especially since your whole life she has tried to get you to be exactly like her daughter. My dad was the only one who looked troubled and stuck up for me and told everyone to leave. Your dad just realized how they screwed up. Children shouldn't be born with jobs and they saddled you with a huge one. Not the asshole. Not the asshole as well meaning as it was of your parents to name you for a deceased sibling, it was a mistake. Your grandmother is trying to make you live up to an impossible standard that of a child that who never got to realize their potential. You are never the offer wanting to live your own life in the way that you want to. And after years of frustration of being compared to your deceased aunt, you finally lost it. Your dad, at least, has your back, and the rest of the family needs to realize that you have been putting up with this for 18 years. Not the asshole. All four of my brothers are named after deceased family members. Never once in all their growing up years, did my patents allow anyone to try and force them into being some dead person's mini me I get that granny misses her daughter but 18 years of non-stop crap is deeply disturbing. It's never going to end if you don't keep your foot firmly on the ground and tell the fam you're sick of it. You are your own person not your dead auntie's clone it may take changing your name completely to get them to recognize and accept your individuality. Not the asshole what your grandma does is not even unhealthy for her but also was very unfair to you. Instead of your enabling her your family should encourage her to do therapy again instead of letting her use you as a substitute for her dead daughter. I am glad your dad is on your side. While I understand that you didn't he mean to hurt your grandmother, you shouldn't he suffer just so she can feel better. Not the asshole. Good on your dad for having your back, but it should have been done ages ago. Not the asshole, you are literally over the age at which your aunt died. 
there is no she did this or that at this point, it is all parent fantasies and speculations, except she is not your parent. You need to sit down with your mom and dad but it seems he is already on your page and explain to her that she needs to help you be yourself, not someone else's fantasy. You need her to have your back in this. It's tough dealing with constant comparisons. Not the asshole. Not the asshole your grandma needs help. But it's crazy that the adults around you are enabling this. You are neither an emotional support animal or a clone of your aunt. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, your dad sounds like the best person in your family by the way. It seems that everyone has allowed your grandmother to behave the way she has all your life possibly for the best of reasons, the lady after all was grieving a dead teenage daughter without thinking for one second about the inevitable consequences. You are the one that is owed an apology, no one else. Not the asshole for feeling manipulated into being someone you aren't and for standing up for your individuality, but a for the delivery. This is why I hate naming a child after another relative. Too many older relatives transfer personality traits on a young child. Not the asshole and even the delivery was deserved. Your aunt is dead. You are not her or her replacement and someone needed to say it out loud. Not the asshole your entire family, including your parents little late for dad to step in now allowed her to turn you into a touchstone for her dead daughter. She made your cousins resent you. She treated you as a second chance with her daughter rather than the person you are and everyone allowed it. She never processed her grief and your family failed both you and her. Not the asshole, unfortunately this is a case of extreme grief that blew up. You are your own person who has their own likes and things you enjoy. And you aren't fitting onto the pedestal that grandma placed you on when she saw your hair. Frankly grandma may never get over it if she doesn't get help. And you can't make her start talking to you. As an adult of 18 I'd plow through this. Treat grandma like you did before this all blew up. Don't respond when she makes comments about what your aunt liked. I'd talk to the sibling of said aunt and see about getting grandma some much needed therapy. I'd take grandma not speaking to me as a win. Now you can live your life not your dead aunt's not the asshole. I'm guessing she's your maternal grandmother and your mother sucks for enabling this. Stick with your dad. LCNC anyone who promotes this toxic BS. If you want, consider changing your name to something that represents you not your dead aunt. Not the asshole. You are your own person. You have individual feelings, wants and desires that have nothing to do with your late aunt that you never met. Sadly she's treating you like a replacement daughter and the rest of your family has allowed this your whole life. You're an adult now and I'd recommend making decisions that will allow independence so you can go out on your own. Then go low no contact with grandma and be prepared for the family to judge you for looking out for yourself. You are a person not your grandmother's emotional support pet. Not the asshole. Not the asshole if your parents had addressed this years ago, you would not have had to. Big not the asshole. No one owns you and no one should be telling you how to live your life. It is terribly sad what happened to your aunt but that is not your burden to bear and not your responsibility to replace her. You are your own person good luck op.